doing Thai curry. Yes. But you said that this is going to be made in an absolutely authentic fashion. Yes. It's all about the curry paste. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, hand pressed coconut milk. What is this this most vital ingredient curry paste made out of? Well, uh, basically lemon glass, coffee lime, galangal. Okay. And uh, coffee lime, you use the coffee lime set. And then you have um, shallot, mm -hmm. garlic, and then of course green chili. Uh, walk toast everything, no oil. No oil. Until it's soft. Mm -hmm. And then you grind it, everything in together. Okay. So there's really simple ingredients, but you know, for pounding and then pounding and pounding to become a paste, that actually takes forever. Forever. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, I put a little oil. Okay. It's gonna be a little hot. I'm gonna start it off with the uh, chicken. Start. And then in the same time, I will put the uh, the curry paste, the curry paste to roast it. So while you're cooking the chicken, toast it uh, with the curry paste. You know, it had the flavor in it, and then I'm gonna put the <coughs> coconut milk in. Basically now, what you have to do is just to let coconut and curry paste combining together. After they're combining together, they split. Because it's the, uh, the coconut has the uh, oil. Oil. Yeah. And then the oil, which is we just added in, to break all the beaten pieces to take the flavor out from the uh, curry paste. Okay. Then, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the, uh, all the vegetables in. Uh, what I give it for the crunch is the uh, water chestnut. Water chestnut. So you have the crunch for the, when you bite into it, you have the uh, berry eggplant. What is the egg, the little the eggplant? Brinjol? Brinjol. Brinjol. Okay. Yeah. okay, we're gonna put that in. Then we have the uh, eggplant. Itself, which you lightly sauteed? Yeah, which is the, it can be, um, it can be the uh, raw. Raw. And okay. then you can actually put it into the, uh, the curry. Then, of course, the, uh, this is the, you can't miss it, it's the Thai food okay. to keep the uh, flavor. After I taste it, you can actually smell it already. Mm. What you can do is you just the, um, use some of them and then use the air, bruise it. Okay. To get release all the flavor to come out. Then, uh, I add more coconut. gonna put up the heat a little bit. It's gonna boil. Yeah. It's actually it really if you make it at home, you have the curry paste already. I, I would tell you this is only take like not more than 10, 10 minutes, minutes to make to have a, a, a green curry at home. And then um, I add the chili again. But this chili is not like really spicy. It's not the spicy actually. Now we're gonna seasoning it. The coconut actually had the sweetness already, so we're not gonna add any more sugar. So we're using the fish sauce. Fish sauce. The fish sauce then adds the salt to this? Yes. Chicken green curry. This is fantastic. It smells fantastic. I'm dying to eat it. We've done with the papaya salad. We've got the green curry. Now some noodles would be a good idea. Yes, that's yeah? going to be a pad thai. Pad thai noodles coming up after this. Okay, chef. I've eaten pad thai noodles before, but I had no idea that there are so many right. ingredients that go into one pad thai noodles. Here today we're gonna make um, more than that. We're gonna, we're gonna do a vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yes. That's so why there's yeah, so actually, many vegetables. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna start slowly with the uh, oil. Here too you've got a sauce over there. Uh, that's gonna be a pad thai sauce, which is, uh, I made it already with palm sugar, okay. tamarind, okay. and then uh, soy sauce. Then I'm uh, gonna start it with the uh, noodles. Then uh, you have corn, you have carrot, and then all kind of vegetable that you can find here. Uh, I have the uh, broccoli, 
and then a little bit of um, mushroom, okay. if you like the, the shiitake mushroom. Shiitake mushroom. Um, spring onion. Then um, I have bean sprout and tofu. Bean sprout and tofu. Yes. And then a uh, tofu slice, more here. And then I have a little bit of uh, crunchiness from the uh, um, Thai tempura batter. This is the part that, um, you know, what everyone fascinating about the pad thai. Mm. So it has the sauce. And then you can add the chili in whatever Thank you me. like. So we're just about to finish now. Yeah. So this seems quite simple. It's, talk about simple cooking. This yeah. is the uh, simple cooking that you can find. What is I put the soy sauce in a little bit. A little bit of soy sauce. And peanuts on top, the crunchy yeah. peanuts, which I just love. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it off. Our pad thai will be ready in a second. Is there something more left to do? Just uh, like what you said, uh, a little peanut crunch on top. Crunch, also. crushed peanuts on top. Then now you have the uh, vegetarian pad thai. Veg pad thai, all sets. Okay, so now I'm dying to eat. Let's just go and attack.